we're blessed in Philadelphia with uh, an incredibly innovative nonprofit sector. Uh, and so what we hope to do here today is really bring that innovation to the forefront, um, give people a chance to talk about the ways in which they're innovative, and then uh, diffuse that innovation throughout our networks. I'm really gratified by the turnout. We have a sellout uh, registration of 125 people with us this morning, representing about 89 different organizations in the greater Philadelphia area. This morning began with a networking event in which Participants were able to put down a specific question they had, something they were struggling with, and others were able to say, I have some information that can help you with that, and leave their contact information so that beyond today they can connect and figure out how to address those concerns. We had people uh, doing workshops, for example, around financial stewardship, uh, fundraising, uh, thinking about philanthropy. We also know there are huge issues about sharing resources, which is why we were talking about issues around collaboration, for example. Um, board recruitment, how do you get people on the board who will be both ambassadors but also potential givers to the organization? How do you continue to inspire people so that they also uh, will join organizations and be part of organizations? One thing I want to say really uh, clearly up front is that it is not your job as a nonprofit leader to write a theory of action for your organization. In fact, that's the last thing you want to do. What you want to do is to lead your organization through the process of developing one. There is never a conversation that I'm ever part of in the nonprofit world where the first question or the first thing that comes out of people's mouth is there never enough resources. <laughs> it is the most, but I want to ask the panel right from the outset, what do you think about this topic that everybody says there's never enough resources? And what's perverse about that comment is that we're living in a time when there's never been more resources in the world generically. Pete, please take it away. Resources is actually a really good way of putting it. But unfortunately, a lot of conversation does happen around finances. Some of the research that we've been doing is actually showing how nonprofits can achieve scale, uh, effectiveness, um, and do so sometimes at a significantly lower budgets because they actually engage and manage volunteers well. And I always like to say money isn't a resource. You take money off the table, it's what it buys and you don't have to buy all resources. One of the things that's so interesting about this sector that we work in is that not only are we a sector, like business is a sector and government is a sector, we also are the gathering place for some of the really big intractable issues in the world. For example, we wouldn't be in this work if business could or chose to move into here. They could make money off it, so on, they would do it or we end up doing what government chooses not to do or can't do. But lo and behold, the domains that end up being in our parking lot cannot be solved by the sector per se. The sector by itself cannot deal with illiteracy. The sector by itself cannot deal with poverty. The sector by itself cannot deal with, and you name it, pandemics. These require all three of the sectors actually taking ownership for it hanging the board outside where people got to come up and just put their sticker on it with their contact information. I found some people were interested in what we're working on that I had no idea we were interested in that. So maybe we have some new allies that we've been able to unearth this morning or this afternoon. We want with Eagles Youth Partnership to make the greatest difference in kids' lives and we've got some enormous leverage with the brand of the Philadelphia Eagles and the access to the players. So while we're really proud of what we're currently doing, the big questions I hold is are really about uh, are we really maximizing the leverage? Are we doing everything we can? Are we doing the best we can for the kids that we're serving? Um, and so those kinds of questions have a home here. You can hold those here and have debate and you know, talk about scale and uh, breadth versus depth, all of those kinds of questions. Um, it's hard to fit into the day in the day-to-day, -day, but here there's a lot of room for it and those ultimately are the most important questions.